So AnyDen just released community nodes to the cloud version of AnyDen, and this is a huge update. So make sure you keep watching because I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this new update. So to get started, we are going to talk about a little bit of background and give you a little bit of context as to why this update is actually so important. I'm gonna show you what these new nodes actually look like. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the update and what we have so far. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to get these and so you can start using them yourself. So let's jump into a little bit of the context behind this update so you can actually understand why it is so important. So we first need to understand that NADN actually has two different platforms that we cannot use to access their software. So the first one is the self-hosted version of NADN. And this just means that we, the consumer, have to do the setup, the uh, hosting. So pretty self-explanatory, but we have to basically manage the behind the scenes of the software in order to use it. But there are some benefits to doing that as well and some downsides. So. The other option is the cloud version. Now, this is what typically happens when you go to NADEN's website, you go to create an account, you're doing that on the cloud version of NADEN. Now, I'm not gonna go too much in depth as to the differences between these two, but just know that the cloud version is managed by NADEN themselves. So they are actually liable for every single node on that platform because it is their software. Whereas the self-hosted version actually allows us already to use community nodes. We can download them ourselves, but that being said, NADEN is not actually liable for those community nodes. So now that we understand some of the basics of community nodes and the two different ways that we can actually access NADEN, uh, we can actually look at what has been added to NADEN. So I'm in a, a typical workflow here. I've got a basic trigger set up and I'm going to add a plus here and go to an action and an app. So we're all familiar with this. You can see the large list of numerous software that we can connect to natively inside of an ADEN. And you might notice that at least one of them here looks a little bit different. We actually get this little gray check mark uh, next to this particular software. So what this means is that an ADEN has actually looked at this community node and verified it, making sure that it's completely safe to be used by us, the users. Therefore, they have added it to the cloud uh, platform here for us to use. So there's several examples of this throughout. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how many have actually been added later and give you a little bit of information uh, as far as how to get it and then what to expect in the future as well. So this is what they look like. If I select on one of these, for example, you can see all we have to do is just literally click install node. You can see some of the previews here as far as the actions we can take inside of it. You can see that it is verified. You can see the number of downloads and then you can see who published it as well. Now, the nice thing is that we also get documentation for these nodes as well. So I can open this in a new tab and you can see just like with all of the native NADEN nodes that we get a complete set of documentation to answer any questions we might have about these nodes as well. So we don't miss out on anything with these community nodes either. So very nice addition. Um, and from here, I can look at why this update is actually so important and start walking you through uh, more of the information behind this update as well. So before we jump into discussing why this update is actually so important, I do just want to quickly mention that if you would like to stay up to date with the latest news in AI, you want to see the latest updates with NADEN, or you want to be able to use AI as effectively as possible, you want to be well versed in NADEN, or you just want a supportive community of people looking to grow and continue their knowledge growth uh, with AI, then consider joining my new WAP community. I'll link it down in the description. So if you want access to in-depth guides, walking you through some of the basics to advanced concepts in AI, like prompting, how to use different models, uh, you wanna learn how to use NADN, uh, anywhere from a basic to advanced understandings, or you want to just hop in and kind of get the community aspect with weekly calls, we've got a bunch of different options for posts as well. So if any of this sounds interesting, check it out in the link in the description. And without wasting any more time, let's jump back into the video. So to give you a little bit more information as to what is actually included in this update, 
I'm going to be taking a look at a blog post here published by Indian themselves kind of announcing this update. So in this release, we get the cloud uh, community nodes mentioned right here. Uh, built in discovery. So like I just showed you, it is built in just like every other node. We can easily access it. It almost doesn't even look any different besides us having to install it. And then this little check mark there, which is very, very cool. Now, like I mentioned, these nodes are all trusted and verified by Anaden themselves. So when you submit a node, a uh, community node to be added to Anaden, which I'll show you in just a second at the bottom of this blog, it's pretty cool. Uh, they actually look at it and make sure that it is safe to be used on side, inside of their platform here. So one thing I want to point out really quickly is that as of right now, there are 25 new nodes inside of Anaden. Uh, with these community uh, nodes here. Uh, they do said uh, later on, I believe, that they are planning to add more as well. So I'll show you at the very bottom of this page, there's actually a form that we can use to submit nodes if you would like to do that to have a chance to get your node added to any done. So throughout this, you can see that they list several of the new nodes here couple spotlight features. 11 Labs is really cool. I've actually uh, posted a video using their platform as well, a great AI voice platform. We have SERP API, which I've heard is a very popular one for web scraping or searching on the web at least. And then we have Brave Search. You can see it's this has not actually been added yet, but this is coming soon. So Brave Search is also on the way. And then here, I'll show you how to get access to these and start using them yourselves. So that is what this little paragraph is explaining. And then here at the bottom part is a very cool part for builders. So if you're making your own community nodes, you can do so. And then you can access this little form here in the link uh, in the bottom of this post. This opens up a form where you can submit your community node and have a chance for it to be added to NADN as well. So very, very cool. So from here, I can start walking you through updating your instance so you can start using these nodes yourself. So on Anaden's page here, if you don't have an account, you can create one by just selecting Get Started. Once you log in, you'll be brought to the overview page. If you've used Anaden, you are, will be familiar with the overview page. Uh, so from here, what we can do is we are actually going to go to the left side here in the bottom and select this little cloud icon, which takes us to our admin panel. So our admin panel has a dashboard and you can see on the left side here, we have my workspace. So we're actually going to open up the settings for this workspace and then we can scroll down to the Anaden version. So I'm going to select the drop down. I only have two instances listed here or two versions listed. Uh, you might have three if you're not updated yet. The older instance or older version that you're on will be below here. So you can take either of these you can just do the latest stable if you'd like. We do get access to these on 1.94.1. Um, so that's the newest you need to be at is this uh, version right here. Then we can scroll down and you'll want to turn on verified community nodes. You can see that it is still in beta, but you just switch this to on right here. And then we also have the option to disable these as well. So if you're having any issues, you can just come in here and uh, turn this to active. Uh, it just disables all the community nodes. So once you've done that, select save changes. It will be orange like this. So select that button and then we're going to scroll down to the workspace status. So just wait a second. It doesn't take long, but it will change from something like updating uh, and the this little dot will be orange while it's actually updating our instance here. And then once it's done, it will look like this. It will say currently online and then give us that green uh, little dot. So once we've done that, we can go back to our overview page and open up a new workflow. So inside of this workflow, you can add a step. I'll just add a trigger here. And then we can go and look through all of the new community tools or community nodes that have been added. So again, to connect these, it will be 
very straightforward. Let me find one here. So select on this, you can see the number of downloads, who it was published by, that is verified, the actions here, and then all we need to do is just select install node. And now you can see that node has actually been installed and then now we can get access to all of the actions for this particular one as well. You just select this and it looks just like a normal node does. Now, the other thing I wanna point out briefly is that we can actually see these inside of our settings. So if you want to ever uninstall these for any reason, we can go down to the bottom left here, select settings for our account. And then you can see that they've added a new section inside of settings here for community nodes. So this is again, looks pretty similar to the self-hosted version if you're used to that as well. And now you can see that we get the list of the nodes that we've installed. So if you don't have any installed, you won't have any here, but you can install them through the editor like I just showed you before. You can see that these are up to date and then we can look at the documentation or we can uninstall it from here. So uh, this is easily accessible just to see which ones we have installed and if for some reason we want to uninstall it, reinstall it later, anything like that we can do from these settings. So uh, I think that about does it. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you did get anything from this video, leave a like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one. Have a good one.